Well, hello there. So, it's been a while since I did a podcast episode. So, right now, I'm recording a podcast and a YouTube video at the same time. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see that I'm recording. I just wanted to show you that portion. It'll be really cool for you guys to see both things. So, I like to try to make a YouTube video so you get the visual kind of representation. And then for my podcast, it's one you can drive and listen to doing like while doing something. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. So it's been a while. It's been over a year and a half since I recorded a podcast and I'm feeling extremely grateful to do that. So this one's kind of about fall. <laughs> Is that it's that time of the season where it's fall and you feel like I don't know you need to shed right or you need to reset or let things go so I'm really gonna hone in on that today and so this has been on my mind for a while to do another podcast slash YouTube video sort of series. So I'm really grateful that you're here. And if you're new here, if this is your first time watching or listening, thank you for one, for being here. And two, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if, if you love this video, please give it a like. So you can give it a like right now without even watching the whole thing, you know, or listening to the whole thing. So it would be really awesome. So sometimes I'm just gonna come over and look on my computer to see if it's still doing it all right because this new this is a new software called riverside so yeah i'm just getting used to it so bear with me um so usually i like to start out with kind of just giving us time to breathe in right we need to just breathe just do some breathing work and exercise those lungs, guys. Get it together and fall in love with yourself. So that's what this video slash podcast is about today. Falling in love with yourself, being okay with the shed, with letting go, with renewing yourself every day, and releasing what doesn't serve you. So that's what's going on today. And I really, really hope you enjoy this episode. All right, so the first thing is when you need to fall in love with yourself, sometimes, sometimes, things need to happen. Maybe things that you never planned on going through happen, right? And we don't plan for things to happen when it comes to someone you you lost or something you're going through or a job you lost or some hardship right we all go through those sometimes people might not be able to deal with their emotions so on the podcast episodes of flourish and feel i try to really allow you guys to feel your emotions and flourish with them flourish and thrive and live a vibrant abundant joyful life because that's what we are meant to do. We're not meant to just sit in a corner and cry about things all the time, right? There's a time and a place to feel those emotions, right? But dwelling on that will not help you grow, will not help you thrive, and will not help you flourish in the long run. So if you need to shed, like the trees, for example, trees shed their leaves, they fall. and the tree becomes barren and it's beautiful. That's okay. This is a time and the place for the shedding to happen. It doesn't need to be beautiful blooms all year round. It's just unrealistic. It's never going to work like that. But, but your mindset can always be blooming. Your mindset can always be on your side. So we need to be falling in love with ourselves every single day in order to be our best self, to elevate others, right? It's not just about us and 
feeling narcissistic and loving yourself and blah, blah, blah. It's not about being conceited. It's about truly embracing the faults that you've done, the flaws that you have, everything that encompasses you. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So fall is the time for change, right? And maybe some of you want to change or you're feeling nostalgic looking into the past and you want something that's not actually there, right? And we, we all kind of feel those feelings, right? So we need to let things go. Just like the trees shed their leaves, we need to let things go that aren't serving us, right? Serving us in the way of our energy, right? Serving our energies to be the best that we can be, to up-level our life, to reach our highest potential, to live in joy and abundance and not live in fear and anger, right? And anxiety. We don't want to live like that. We're not meant to live like that, right? So that's why we're always striving for more and wanting to change because it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. We want to be good. The body and the mind is mostly the body is always looking to heal itself in the way of physically, right? So when you break an arm, your body is going to heal itself most of the time, 99% of the time, it's going to heal itself because your body is always looking out for you. Why can't your mind be the same way? That's the question. But it can, it can be the same. You need to allow things to happen. Allow change to come. Allow people to be out of your life that treat you badly, that take advantage of you, right? That don't respect your boundaries. Allow those people to fall off the tree, if you will. So allowing yourself to feel those emotions as well. So it's so important to let go, to shed, to just allow yourself to feel your emotions without dwelling on them. So I really hope this makes sense for you guys. And allowing people to leave, just talking about that again, allowing people to leave your life because they're from chapter two, trying to go all the way to chapter 10. It just doesn't align. Sometimes, sometimes we try to force relationships. Why would the tree wanna hang on to dead leaves? No, no, no. Let go of those dead leaves, right? Why are you watering a plant that's already dead? You know what I mean? So let go, shed in order to be able to renew yourself. And that's where we're going to next. So the next phase, if you want to call it that, is renew it. Ugh. Renewal. Renewal is happening every moment of the day if you let it, right? We can either dig ourselves out of the hole or dig ourselves deeper into the hole. We don't want to be deeper in the hole. We don't want to bury ourselves alive with negativity. We want to shed those leaves and get ready to grow, to flourish and feel our best. All right, we want to feel our best. We need to rest in order to feel our best too. So be okay with rest because rest is productive. Over the winter, we, the plants rest. They carry more water, right? They hibernate like the animals in the nature. They hibernate and collect things that they need for the winter. So being productive is being restful, right? So you can be productive and work really hard and start to believe in yourself, right? Self-confidence, self-love, falling in love with yourself comes from allowing yourself to do what you need to do in order to thrive, right? Some days you might need to rest more than other days. Some days you're feeling a lot more productive in the way of getting things done, going out and talking to people, making money, like things like that, that you know that, ooh, it's, I can really feel like I can do this. I'm grinding. Like I really have this drive and this passion, right? So this period of time that we all need to go through doesn't happen overnight. And there are a lot of people that lack patience and 
I'm not saying I'm not one of them <laughs> because I'm a human being. So we all need to practice patience and nurture ourselves with good thoughts, positive thinking, reinforce yourself, reinforce your ideas, your passions, write down your goals. Goals are crucial in this renewal renewal period, right? I'm like super hyper today for some reason. I just feel really good making this podcast again. I feel like I'm just connecting with you guys when I'm talking to a screen by myself. It's taken a lot of practice for me to talk into a void, but I think about it past that phone, I feel like I'm talking to you. Past the computer, I feel like I'm talking to you. I feel very connected and aligned with what I'm talking about and my perspective on things that could help other people. So you can do the same thing too in your renewal period and you're maybe you're right now, you're just really trying to focus on waking up and having a good day and feeling positive. Sometimes your thinking should be your first priority because a lot of things can follow after that, right? If you're not in a good state of mind, what makes you think that you're going to want to nourish your body? What makes you think that you're going to want to help others? So when you fall in love with yourself, it helps you fall in love with life again. Fall in love with helping others, inspiring others, and you fall in love with loving yourself, with taking care of yourself. So kind of everything starts from how you think. So you can't have things without thoughts. But yeah, I mean, always try to be encouraging to yourself. I know sometimes it can be hard, especially if you haven't done it. If you've always kind of talked in that negative way to yourself, if you always kind of sat around and had self-doubt and never really looked out for yourself, some people say that you can be your own worst enemy. And I say, that's your choice. You have a choice. You can either be your worst enemy or your best friend. I say this a lot. I say this to myself in the mirror because I, I am sometimes my own worst enemy. I convince myself of things that are not true. We've all been there, right? So you need to get rid of that mindset, allowing yourself to continue that energy exchange in an encouraging way with yourself, right? I'm talking about with, just with yourself. Look in the mirror and tell yourself things that you want to hear from others. Sometimes, sometimes what we want from others we really, really just want deep within ourselves, from God, from ourselves. We shouldn't be looking to other human beings for validation, for approval, for love, really. We need to love ourselves. We need to approve of ourselves. We need to believe in ourselves. and. This is where I've struggled a lot in the past. I have a major, major, had major, major self-doubt issues, imposter syndrome, never feeling good enough. And it's because I never truly loved myself. Ugh. It just feels so good to say that. I never truly loved myself and now I do with everything I do. I love myself. I love myself. Say it with me. I love myself. I love myself so I can love others better. That's what it's about. It's not just about I'm the best. It's about elevating everyone else. I, I listened to this podcast, the Better Mindset podcast, I think it's called Positive Mindset Podcast. I listen to him. He's very good, Henry. I listen. I've. This is why I started a podcast. He says that 
be the rising tide that lifts all ships. I love that so much and I try to impl implicate that in my own way. So I just want to inspire others and I really hope that you fall in love with yourself and want to inspire others as well. And the last kind of phase of, I guess, falling in love with yourself is growth. I'm sure, as you know, this podcast is called Flourish and Feel. So the word flourish means to grow rapidly and vigorously. And I love that so much. It was either between flourish and thrive. I, I like thrive, but I have that on other things. So flourish and feel felt really good. I wanted an alliteration for some reason. If you follow me on Instagram or if you do here on YouTube, you know that I have a ebook called Fruit is Fuel. So fruit is fuel, flourish and feel. I like the Fs. I'll be, I'll be keeping with the Fs. Anyway, so this portion is about growth, about trusting the process. If you feel like right now you're in a time of uncertainty and you're not really sure which way to go or just trust yourself number one is to trust yourself trust the process and remember that everything in your life happens for a reason okay nothing is happening to you everything is happening for you helps you grow helps you thrive your mistakes help you learn from your life experiences. So when in the winter time you're resting, when springtime comes along, if you were a tree, let's just say, if you were a tree, springtime is the time to bloom, is the time to trust the process. We already know that the flowers on the trees are going to bloom. We just trust that. And it's amazing how much we just trust nature. Oh, it's going to rain. Oh, the sun's going to rise. And it's just because we have this inherent connection to nature and trust. So we need that within ourselves. We need to have trust in God, trust in ourselves, trust that everything is going the exact way that it should be going, really. I'm just turning my page for the podcast people can't see. Releasing fear, releasing negativity, releasing jealousy, releasing anger, releasing anxiety, right? Remember how we shed those things? Now we're actually releasing them in our beliefs, in our process. We are slowly getting rid of those thoughts. And if they do come, acknowledge, acknowledge those feelings. Don't shove them down and ignore them. That's not what I'm saying. We have to feel them. That's also why I put that feel in the, the podcast name because we can't move on if we just never feel those emotions that are crucial for us to feel because we're extremely emotional beings. We're not robots, right? We are very complex, emotional human beings and we need to focus on the good because if we don't the low frequency is so much easier of a frequency to be on frequency that's a difficult word to say so focus on growth don't focus on others don't bring others down to elevate yourself just focus on you and trust yourself and trust your process and focus on good thoughts encouraging thoughts so i cannot wait just to hear all your comments about this topic i'm very excited for where the podcast is going and it just it just really invigorates my soul to be on here talking with you guys so letting go of what you cannot control number 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 one in this growth is letting go of things you cannot control and accepting that everything is an opportunity and not an obstacle. I love that. I used to write that in my journal. Everything that comes to me 
is an opportunity, not an obstacle. Every day is an opportunity to grow, not an obstacle to get through. So I hope that really helps you out and write this down. If this is something that is resonating with you, put it on your chalkboard or your whiteboard or on a sticky note, do something. So you can flourish, be your best self and feel your emotions and not dwell on them. So, so now we're gonna do a breathing exercise. Then we're gonna get into our affirmations and then that's it. So I hope you stick around for that. So for these breathing exercises, I want you to close your eyes if you can. If you can't, then just kind of get into the, a good kind of relaxation state and close your eyes and breathe in for five seconds, hold it for five seconds, and then breathe out for seven seconds. So I'll count with you, right? Okay, we're gonna breathe in for five seconds, right? Five, four, three, two, one, four, seven. Yes, this is so nice. All right, we're doing this two more times. So breathe in for five seconds. Hold. And breathe out for seven. In for five seconds for our last breath. Hold. And exhale for seven seconds. Amazing, amazing job getting in the blood flow, oxygenated blood to the brain, to the muscles, to promote relaxation. So I do this every morning. I try to do breathing exercises every morning and every night. It takes five seconds and you can do it while doing other things too, just sitting there. So we're going to just do a few affirmations that you can repeat back to me or you can repeat in your head, or you can write it down or, or not. Do what you wanna do, do what makes you feel the best that you're gonna feel. So I wrote these down, let's go. I focus on the blessings in my life. Great job. I am so grateful for who I am. Yes. I allow myself to let go of things I cannot control. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Everything in my life happens to help me grow. Yes, we're over here growing. No, no, no pond scum, right? We are moving water, you know? I say encouraging things to myself daily. I live with a grateful heart. Yes, <laughs> number eight. I love myself and who I have become and who I am becoming. Mm -hmm. I love myself, who I am and who I am becoming. Yes, I love that one. I am always trying to improve myself so I can uplift others. 
I'll repeat that again. I am always trying to improve myself so I can help improve others. Yes, that's the name of the game. And number 10, I release all fear and all tensions that hold me back. Yep, I release everything that's holding me back. Nothing holds me back. Let's say that again. Nothing holds me back. Here's what I like to say, being a very renewed Christian. Nothing is holding me back when God is holding me. Nothing is holding me back when I'm in God's arms. So I love that one. I say that every single day to help with my self-doubt, right? Nothing is holding me back. Nothing is holding you back, all right? You are capable of an amazing, beautiful, just amazing life. This is what you deserve. So, all right, that's the end of this episode. So thank you for watching, or if you're listening on Spotify, thank you for listening on Spotify and finding my podcast slash YouTube channel. I'm so grateful. Every single day I wake up and I just want to, I just want to be myself and, and improve myself while improving other people's lives in their, in unlocking your potential. I want to unlock your potential. It's not about pushing my agenda. It's about let me see what I can do to allow you to see your truest self, to, to see your gifts, right? We want to inspire change. We don't want to force change. That's not how anything gets done, right? So thank you again. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mirandi222, for those on the podcast. And if you want to watch my podcast, it's on, it's in the link below if you're on YouTube and make sure to check out the links below. I have thriving daily affirmations that you can do. They're free. You can download them straight to your inbox as well as I have one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. I have a 30 minute free discovery call that I do. So I do holistic nutrition counseling. We talk about your goals concerns, health concerns. We can construct meal plans, right? And get you to a place of health and abundance and thriving mindset, right? Because everything starts in your head. So yeah, make sure to check that out. My fruit is fuel, 30 recipes. So that's in the links down below. And like I said, I'm so grateful for you being here. And it just it just makes my day whenever I see anybody comment or like or any new subscribers. Just know that it means everything to me. And I'm so glad that you're here and improving your life. So I will see you on the next episode. But until then, make sure to do everything with love, with passion, and talk to yourself encouragingly, guys. So we are continuously falling in love with ourselves. So follow the podcast. Subscribe on my YouTube and I will see you in the next video or episode.